Welcome back everybody to Anointed to Bling. It's your girl Rain and I'm excited to bring you this tutorial of this beautiful mirror box and pearl topiary ball. If you want to learn how to make it, stay tuned. <laughs> of this particular project I have here four mirrors now I got these from Hobby Lobby they are $4.99 regularly but I got them half off and the reason I got this size is because I need a bigger arrangement you have probably seen some of the DIY tutorials with the uh, five inch mirrors these are just a little bit bigger than that but you can certainly do this project with those mirrors again I just need a bigger arrangement I also got this piping this is a dowel that I found at Hobby Lobby in the bakery section that's going to work perfectly for the size of the uh, pearl arrangement that I'm working on you also need pearls now these you can get at the Dollar Tree I have a ton of them as you can see these are usually somewhere in the party section so you can grab these pre-stringed I have my satin ribbon which I'm going to use to cover the pipe and I have one of these floral balls now this is not the ball that I'm using for this particular project I just wanted to show it to you as an example but I am actually going to use this to make the smaller arrangement like the big one that I'm making because I'm making various sizes so you can certainly make this smaller and scale it down this is also floral styrofoam that lays flat and you put your flowers in it I have done some pre-work so I spray painted it and covered it in lace. This is not a necessary step. I did that just because if I'm looking down into the box, I wanted to be able to see something a little neater. But again, that's neither here nor there. You certainly don't have to do that. You need your handy dandy bling. And I have my Windex to clean my mirrors, my glue gun, my E6000 and my glue sticks. Now. You've probably seen this tutorial done on YouTube without the box, but I happened to find this box at Hobby Lobby and I actually took the time to score it so that it was it was a little bit longer than I needed. So I scored it, cut it to make it fit the size of the mirrors. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Putting the mirrors together with the duct tape or the glue, as you've seen, it works, but it doesn't necessarily create for a sturdy box. So in this way, my mirrors are actually going to flip fit flush against this box and it's going to give me a lot of security and stability so that is why I chose to use the box now in the interest of time there are some things I'm going to go ahead and do off camera I do have my ball that I started this is the size I'm using as you can see I already started wrapping it in the pearls I'm going to finish that and finish wrapping it I, I just in the interest of time I spray painted the ball and the reason I did that is because even though I'm wrapping it in silver pearls, you can still see that white shining through and I'm very picky. I like for things to be a very specific color. If you don't like silver, another trick is to spray paint the pearls. You can always spray paint after you wrap the ball. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna finish the ball. I'm gonna clean my mirrors. I'm gonna wrap my pole in the ribbon so that you don't see this plastic sticking up. And then I'm, I'm gonna glue my mirrors to the box and Come back and assemble it. I'll be right back. Go ahead and have your moment. Baby, go ahead and cry. Yeah. 
finished wrapping my pipe and at the last minute I had the idea to add some silver enhancement using this silver ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I usually wait until Hobby Lobby has these on sale for half off so that you can get it for one dollar. Um, now that I've wrapped the pipe I'm going to go to the next step which is to start to prep the box to put the mirrors on. Now that I'm getting ready to do my box I did not want to neglect just this top Edge. As you can see, this is where I scored it. I don't know that it's going to make a whole lot of difference, but I'm just going to line the top of the inside of the box with about two rows of bling in here. And then I'm going to go over this edging with just one row just to make things look cohesive and nice. So I'm going to do that and I'll be so right as back. As you can see, I've already laid the first mirror and it is just a little bit higher or wider than the box. But when I lay the second mirror, I'm gonna be sure to match it up perfectly and just run a line of the adhesive, the bonding agent in here, so that these mirrors connect while the box still continues to add as a sturdy base for this project. So now that I've got my mirrors attached to the box, I've pre-measured out my bling, and I'm just gonna go in and cover our work by lining these bevel edges just like this on the sides where the mirrors cut. Hey, it's all right. hey, hey, I have finished blinging out the box. I'm gonna go back to my base, my ball, and my stick. Now what I didn't say earlier is that there needs to be a hole drilled into the base, which I actually did using the pipe. And in order to secure that, I'm gonna glue that as I connect it. I'm all, you also need to drill a hole in your ball. I was a little bit off center, so mine came out bigger. I'm also going to glue and secure that in there. And then using this embellishment, I'm just going to embellish the front of the mirror. And I'm gonna create with these two ribbons a nice little bow tie for this guy so that it comes out as a beautiful pearl topiary arrangement that sits inside this box. So I'm gonna get started and I'll be right back. embellishments glued on and I have this setting I'm gonna let this sit until it is perfectly dry and this is not able to spin on its own the same way I glued this in the base is the same way I glued uh, the top on and the last thing to do is set it in here and come back and show you the final product 